not there. He is not there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. He's just out in it. Hey, what's going on, Trish, Doom Boogie? What's happening? Someone's a little excited this morning. <laughs> the tongs, they just opened and flew off the counter. <laughs> Good morning. How is everybody? We're getting ready to do coffee and breakfast this morning. Did you guys see my stories on Instagram yesterday? <clears throat> and if so, what do you think we're making? What do you think we're making? The hint I gave was yesterday I started preparing the ham by putting in some fresh rosemary for it to, um, I don't know, what do you say? Marinate? <laughs> Get the aromatics of the uh, rosemary into the ham overnight. What do you think I'm making? Really good food. Well, thank you. I hope so because we're literally experimenting today. Um, it's something off of the, the current Disneyland menu. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. We didn't, um, we didn't do a trial run on this, so there may be some bloopers here this morning. <laughs> and I need my coffee. We haven't had coffee yet. It's raining. It's um, Actually, it's not just raining. This morning it was like blowing sideways rain. <laughs> Good morning, Brian. How are you? How is your Saturday morning? We're doing this Saturday morning this week. Um, because obviously tomorrow is Easter and, um, we'll be taking the day off, whatever that looks like, right? <laughs> Happy early Easter. Happy guys. early Easter. I hope the Easter bunny visits everybody. Good morning, sweetheart. How are you? Good to see you. We're going to start our coffee and I think, um, Living Dead Son would like a hot chocolate. Oh, does he want a hot chocolate? Yeah. I don't know if Living Dead Daughter is awake. If you snooze, you lose. Right? If you snooze, you lose. I know. Okay, so I was just saying, I'm going to let you guys guess for a minute here. So did you see the Instagram stories yesterday, Brianna? What um, the story I put, oh, good, Brian, your eyes are feeling better. Oh, that's good news. Good news. I know that was a pain. Um, so yesterday I shared a story of putting rosemary in a container with some ham. Good morning, Alyssa. How are you? Good morning. Um, and so the hint I just gave uh, a second ago was, we're experimenting and trying to make something that's currently on the Disneyland menu. We didn't give it a trial run, so we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Um, so it's got ham. What, what do you think it is? I should have just given it away. There you go, Brianna. That's my girl. <laughs> ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. That's right. We are having ham and eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Good morning, Gina Duati. So currently in New Orleans Square, that was the other hint I gave was I played um, music from Princess Tiana and the whole New Orleans vibe there. So there in New Orleans Square, right by Pirates of the Caribbean, 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 
um, <laughs> is currently on the menu in the mornings, um, the Monte Cristo waffle. So we're going to give the Monte Cristo waffle a try this morning. Um, and so I, I did some research yesterday. I went to the Disney food blog and saw that it was like a rosemary ham. So I ran out to the yard because luckily we are growing lots of rosemary um, and grabbed my rosemary and put it in a container with the ham so that we could hopefully uh, duplicate that um, rosemary hint. Not, not strong. It said it wasn't a strong hint of rosemary. So uh, hopefully we nailed it. Oh, honey, you'll be here in a month. We'll do this again in a month. We'll do it again. Easy enough. Easy enough. Hopefully it turns out. And then uh, we got the strawberry preserves to duplicate what they give at the park. Um, so it's ham, Swiss, and turkey in a waffle. I believe they cook it in the waffle. So versus making waffles and then throwing it together as a sandwich, I think they throw it in the maker that way. Uh, so we'll see, right? <laughs> And then again, we're doing this on Saturday morning since tomorrow morning's Easter. And uh, we'll be taking the day off from streaming and being a family and celebrating Easter. It's supposed to rain all weekend. It's too, supposed yeah. to rain all weekend. It's coming down right now. For us, it's coming down. Um, and this morning, it was like blasting the house sideways. <laughs> it was pretty heavy this morning. <clears throat> What's everyone's plans this weekend for the holiday? You guys being with family, staying in? <clears throat> Getting ready for the Easter Bunny. We're just kind of, kind of just keeping it mellow this weekend. I didn't do the traditional big baskets this year. The kids are getting older and, um, I didn't go with all the candy that I normally would. I kept it simple. Um, yeah, really simple. I got them a big candy and called it macaroni. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Kind of laying off of the, you know, the big bunny tradition. And um, the kids still want to do, what do you call it, honey? Cascaronis? Yeah, the Casca confetti eggs. The confetti eggs. The kids still want to do that, um, but it's pouring out, so we're going to have to play that one by ear. I got a big package of the, um, oh, hang on. It's in the car. Um, oh, what are they called? They're like the strips, long strips of candy that are like sweet on the outside, some sour in the middle. They're like the movie theaters and stuff. I got a big package of that. I forget what it's called. Do you remember what it's called? I'm not sure what that's called, honestly. Okay. Some hot chocolate. You got a hot chocolate. Living Dead Sun right here. Some hot cocoa on a rainy day. It's not focusing. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. So there's Joel's hot chocolate. Hot, hot chocolate. Hot Instead of hot pockets, hot chocolate. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't remember what candy that was. I'll show you tomorrow. I'll take a picture. It's nothing terribly exciting. We've been doing the parks and enjoying other things for entertainment that um, I pulled from the Easter budget. <laughs> I think we did the parks. What? Well, we did Disney two times last week, and then um, we went out. We went back out that way for dinner. So we're just hanging out at home this week. Dead Mom's Caramel Pecan Latte. I'm ready. 
I know, Brian, hard to believe you would ever be in a bad mood. Well, it didn't come across by, by your messages, so I know. Um, I can't imagine double pink eye, my friend. That's a hard one. Yeah, that stinks, man. That's, that's a hard one. That's tough. We need our eyes, right? We take, we take for granted <laughs> certain things, our senses. How are you feeling, Tina? Are you feeling better this morning? Morning, Are you getting some rest? I know you're always there for all the streamers, um, but please don't feel like you need to be when we go live. If you are not feeling well, lady, um, you need to take care of you. You first, always, always, always. Health's the most important. Yeah, we can't get that back once it goes. And the waffle iron's ready. It's hot and ready to go. Uh, waffle iron's talking to us. It's Can talking to ready? us. <laughs> you forgot there. about me. about done with if you guys were with me live a few weeks ago that double batch of beans that I roasted I'm at the tail end of that I, I did roast the other day just did a, a smaller batch but I'm almost through that batch when I went live I did pick up a, a new batch I'm ex or some new uh, green beans that I'm excited to roast I think, I can't remember, I think they were Colombian beans, I think. I'll have to take a look at the bag again. And usually, like, once I get down, like, low on a bag, I'll just kind of set those aside, and then I'll eventually do, like, a blend. I'll get a few different regions going and start blending them together and you can get some really good flavors out of some uh, different regions go pretty well together. It's kind of like a, a mystery roast. You never know what you're going to get. Because sometimes you don't come out with the exact amount of beans at the end so you don't want to waste the beans. So I just kind of just improvise a little bit and start experimenting. Let's go right into the cup. All right. Tear that. There we go. grams in I'm going to do about 36 grams of coffee out that's right about there sometimes I'll do like a one to three ratio and that's always fun because you get some different flavors of coffee when you extract Extract it a little bit longer. Okay. Time to steam some milk. Yummy. I'm ready. For the lattes. I am ready. The towel. Uh... Tina, you did a, a peanut butter coffee drink. What? You're going to have to give us your secrets, friend. I know. Peanut butter. That sounds very good. Where's Holly? Where I is know. Holly? She loves her peanut butter.
That sounds good, huh? Peanut butter. I know. How did we get some of that? What was it? A peanut butter coffee cake? Is that what she said? Um, peanut just, butter coffee. Just peanut just butter coffee. coffee. Yeah. That sounds yummy. Yeah, sounds like she put together something fun. <gasps> There's Holly. Holly said, I heard peanut butter. She heard peanut butter. <laughs> she got Those on Those are it. some good ears, girlfriend. Yeah, Tina said, I did figure out how to make peanut butter coffee drink and holy guacamole. It was amazing. Wow. Yeah. Justin. Justin, Justin says, my voice boy. is officially gone from yesterday. I can imagine. Justin, I don't know how you do it. I, I was, don't know how you do it. I was going to ask you, how do you, how do you uh, continue to talk after a day like that? Wow. Yeah, because even... When we go on rides like that, <laughs> we're hoarse for like two or three days after. Like two or three I days. hope you had the very best day ever. Um, we watched a lot of it. A lot of it we had the ninja watch as we were going about our day, but looked like you were having an amazing time. Some parts we had to roll back two or three times while we were in the car and had it on stereo because. You had us rolling in our seats. I'm ta I we swear, tears. we were in tears. There was one point I was laughing so hard going up a hill, driving up a hill, I thought I needed to pull over. Um, <laughs> we were laughing so hard, tears streaming down our face. Justin, we had a blast with you yesterday. Thank you for streaming your very, very special day. Um, and, and any day that you stream, you are a joy to watch. And you bring the fun, just period. You bring the fun, and we we really enjoyed you yesterday. Happy, happy, happy twenty first birthday, friend. Yes, sir. And uh, on that note, there's my coffee this morning. Isn't it pretty? I know. I always share caramel pecan latte. You're so welcome. You are so welcome. It's work, friend, and. Um, you you put in the work and and people love you they enjoy you and and we could see that by so many people that were sharing about watching you and on the tv and um you're uh, you know you're entertaining you bring value and and of course it was your birthday we're gonna be there but um Man, you just, you had a good time, and for us that weren't at Disneyland, having a good time with you, you brought, you brought us a good time, and it was, it was really, really neat. Thank you for sharing that with us. You drank all of your hot chocolate. Look at you. Mmm. Oh, the first sip is so good. So, so good. 21 years in one day. How can we go back, Justin? Christina Holmes, good morning, beautiful. How are you? Good, good morning. Holly, she heard the peanut butter. She said the peanut butter is strong. Heck yeah. I think her hearing is strong. <laughs> I am jealous. I've been to um, a few too many concerts, and my hearing is just not that good anymore. My hearing used to be good until you took me along with you at those concerts. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. Happy Saturday, it's Christina. Worth. How are you? Rainbow of Disney. Hey, hey good morning, up, sunshine. How are you? <clears throat> We're doing the stream on Saturday morning this morning uh, due to the Easter holiday. And... Um, we're going to be cooking, for those that just joined us, um, we're going to be giving a shot at the current menu item in New Orleans Square at Disneyland, which is the Monte Cristo Waffle. Everyone enjoyed your stream yesterday, Justin. It was a good, good time. Your other parts are failing, but hearing is good. I, yeah, I'm... <laughs> My hearing is bad and other parts are failing. That's my vision, my knees, my back. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. Always fills our hearts with joy. What a great way to start the day with friends. Yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah. 
we've got 16 friends in our kitchen. Yeah. Um, and the Love only it. thing that would be better than this is if you guys were actually here. You can, we get you guys but we'd have this guy making coffee for hours, huh? Uh, yeah, there'd be a line out the door. There'd be a sure. line out the door, and that happens at our at our holiday parties. This little hallway, kind of right here, we have literally. There's a line waiting for their coffee for their dessert. Yeah, kind of dessert and coffee. Yeah, so dessert and together. coffee go together. So we love that. Victor unboxes the world. Hey, speaking up, of birthdays, friend? speaking of awesome people, Birthday we love Victor. We got to meet Victor last week, and that was amazing. We got to meet Mama Saurus and Sister yes. Saurus, and um, Victor just fills our hearts with joy as well. Holly Saurus. We still need to meet Holly Saurus, right? Holly Saurus. <laughs> She's got all kinds of names. Hollywood, Holly Saurus. <laughs> She's fabulous. Just plain and simple, fabulous. Tina Rex. <laughs> Tina Rex. Tina Rex. Holy cow. Oh, I'm loving this. And then last week we got to meet Dragon Blood. Was it last week? Yeah, well, yeah, last it's still technically last week. Dragon Saurus. Dragon Saurus. Dragon Rex, right? He was a good time. D Rex. Justin's birthday was a blast. Lots of birthdays at the end of March here. Lots of birthdays. Lots of March babies. We love you too, Victor. We do. <laughs> Only hang out with fabulous people, so look in the mirror. Oh, I don't want to look in the mirror this morning, Holly. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. Right. <laughs> Thank you. You also are beautiful beyond belief. Black coffee. Black coffee. Mm. The the show of the black coffee. Yeah, I just, I like my coffee, and I like my wife. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> he's, he's thinking here. <laughs> And hot. Hot. <laughs> That's how I like Get out of here. Strong and hot. Right, what was it? Cut it out. <laughs> Dad jokes, right? Oh, man. That's I know. I like Justin needs to add Disneyland to his home parks. Heck I yeah. agree. I agree. Not Edward Furlong. Good hey, morning, yeah. friend. Up? How are you? So good to see you here. We really need to run into you soon. We have something for you. Yeah, rainbow coffee. Coffee, coffee. Daisy, I missed you. You slipped by me. Good morning, Daisy. How are you? What's I'm trying to keep up here, guys. <laughs> I know, the first trying world problems, right? Trying to keep up here. I know. Good morning. We got Daisy and Rainbow in this morning. Glad to have you here. Happy Easter again. I know. Happy Easter. Us. Easter weekend. It's a rainy Easter weekend. It's kind of came out of nowhere. Justin said, oh, by the way, I got the limited edition magic band yesterday. It's the Disney what? 100 Bolt <clears throat> Magic Band. Hey, yeah. you'll have to put that on Instagram for us. I'd like to see it. That's a great birthday I'd present. I'd love right to there. see it. Mm. Oh, Edward, I, I know not Edward Furlong, but but we want to. We want to. We, yeah, we're so grateful for you. Yeah. And it's the least we can do. We want to. I know you don't need anything, but we want to. I really enjoyed um, his artwork of us. I'm, I'm going to call it the Scooby-Doo. I see, yeah. The Scooby-Doo uh, photo the of Scooby -Doo us. The Scooby-Doo photo. This artwork of us with flashlights and the fog. and It's really cool. We also yeah. need to post that again. That's a fun picture. It was a fun picture. I do have it pinned on our stories, the highlights. Oh, okay. I do have it pinned up there. As a matter of fact, I used it as the, um, like the picture for the highlight reel. Oh, perfect. Or whatever you call it. Yeah. 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 Um... Let's see. And we'll talk about that later, about ghost stories. <laughs> she said, Holly said, they got you a blunderbuss. <laughs> a 
blunderbuss. <laughs> Justin says, those magic bands are so cool that they light up during wondrous journeys and it's more convenient to scan than a ticket using the phone. Yeah, yeah, I can oh, see perfect. that. I can see that. Well, we have to buy four of them. So, yeah, yeah, we're working on it. We're working we, we on it. Remind us to talk about uh, ghost investigating later. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to share that. Yeah, we got some stuff to share. So hang some out news. with us. Yeah, don't hang go. Hang out with us. So. It's all kind of being worked on right now. Um, it's in the works, it's right? It's in the works. So we might have something fun coming down the pipeline. All right. And now we're going to make our way. Got kind of the waffle bar set up here. So that's after the waffles. Okay. We've got our ham, turkey, and Swiss set up here to go into the waffle iron. So again, we haven't done this before. So this is gonna be, um, we might have some bloopers off of this one yeah. that we can, <laughs> we can make some shorts out of later. <laughs> um, so, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and imitate, it's hard to, it's hard to imitate anything Disney does and, and do it as good as Disney, but we're going to try, right? So we're trying to imitate, um, recreate, recreate. How's that word? Recreate. Let me have a little more coffee. Let's try and recreate the Monte Cristo waffle. Um, yes, I had powdered sugar. I sure did, sweetheart. Right there. Yep. Powdered sugar. We've got strawberry preserves. We've got... Uh, the keto version of maple syrup. We've got traditional maple syrup. We should be good. We should be good. What do you think? Do I got it all? And if not, I'm sure it's in the pantry. We got turkey. Okay, ignore our grandson's mess over there. Mm -hmm. He is a messy little guy. He throws his food when he is done. Um, we are, this is a family kitchen and it is not always pretty, let me tell you. <laughs> Good vibes. Good morning. Hey, How up, are you? Welcome and thank you guys for joining. We appreciate your being here. So again, we're going to get started here on recreating the very popular and well-loved Disney Waffle Monte Cristo that's available in the New Orleans Square there by Pirates of the Caribbean. I know you guys know the name of that place. What is it called again? What's that place called? Something Cafe Royale. Is that Cafe, what it's called? Is it? Uh, that there's. I know. I might be confusing with the new Tiana's uh, restaurant. Yeah, it's right there by our favorite store, Brianna and um, the Pirates. Like there's indoor seating and. Yeah, outdoor, it's where you get the fritters too. and traditionally they have like the corn chowder and clam chowder in a bowl right there. Well, anyways, they sell the Walk Cafe Orleans. That, that, that's I think that's, Cafe is that it? Um, it's a walk-up window. Like, there's no area to sit down there, really. Um, okay, so you have to walk me through. Okay, this. so I'm just going to leave you guys here, and we're going to be working, so I won't be able to see the comments for a minute. Okay, so, coffee. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So, um, just a little bit of mix, and then we'll layer it with the meat and cheese. Okay. And then a little mix, and then see what happens. How do you think camera placement is? Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. You guys get a good view of of the kitchen here. All right. Okay, okay, so for each one, we're gonna put some ham, turkey, so we're not reaching and too Swiss. Far. Should I cut the Swiss? I probably should. That's just a tad bit closer to you guys. Because the waffles aren't that huge. So, like I think that. that earlier. This is fine right here. How do you think that would fit? It should be okay. 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 It might get a little messy, but it should be okay. I can try and kind of cut off some ends here. I'll let it back where it was. 
put on some ends. Alright. Okay. And we can eat that later too. Okay, so you know ready to pour the mix. Let me get these ready. A little ham. Uh, this is gonna be they're fabulous. kind of thicker than the Disney version probably. And then the mix, I just use regular store-bought store uh, waffle mix. Waffle mix. Yep. Nothing too fancy. Nothing fancy. We're just testing this out. Maybe later we'll do the uh, your recipes for the waffles that you did, the cake box. Yeah, we could recipes. definitely, you can, you can definitely do that. Yeah. Switch it up. Give some right. different flavor here. I also think you could do this with the donut French toast. Oh, that'd be a good idea too. Donut French toast. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are we looking? Really good. Okay. Oh, this piece of ham is being a little stubborn. There we go. Almost there, almost there. Hey, Jen's Crochet. How are you? Welcome Jen's in. Good morning. Beautiful. How are you? So we've, we've stepped away from the camera real quick. Yeah, it's hard to keep up on chat for a few. We're, we're both cooking this time. Usually it's kind of one of us while the other one watches. Um, we're both going to be hands-on today. Okay, so I got four, you got four going. ready to go. So I'm thinking just a little bit, maybe start here for me, and then I can follow you this way so I don't get burned. We don't get burned. Just a little bit. There you go. No more? No. Perfect? Yeah. Okay. And then maybe I'll spread that out a little bit. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Spread it a little bit. Alright, next. We're going to make a big old mess on the stove this morning with drippings and everything. That's okay. Welcome in, guys, to the Living Dead family. Live in our kitchen, we are doing Monte Cristo. Next. Top and then it cover off, it. right? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit on top. I don't think it's going to require too much. Right. Check my phone, my phone is blowed up, go ahead and come okay. Just a, a little bit. A little bit to her, <laughs> is a lot to me. Oh, I'm kidding. Because yeah, they'll boil over, there you go, just a little bit. This one needs a little bit more, I think. Okay, what do you think? Yeah. That's good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a hair, just so it kind of smooths over. You want to miss. Well, it's our first go. We'll figure yeah. it out after this what we need to do different, hopefully. Well, the first ones have to be perfect. The right? first ones have yeah. to be perfect. Okay, then what are we closing Just it? Close it and let it cook. Close it and let it cook while those like this. Mm -hmm. Just leave it? Yeah. Okay. And while you're doing that, I will go ahead and do some more. Okay. But first. How do you think we're doing? Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, but first, coffee. We'll save those pieces for later, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make a salad mm -hmm. with this. Right? Yeah, Daisy, mm -hmm. Jen's Crochet, Good Vibes, Justin, good Birthday Boy, Happy Birthday again, Justin. We got Hollywood in the house. Oh, Tina Tuwiti is here, oh, Christina Holmes, oh, Pirate Girl Trish. We've got a bunch of all stars in here today. Look at this. Royal Street Veranda. Is that the right one? That's it. Thank That's you. Go, I'm going back in the chat real That's quick. That's the one. Just to catch up with you all. Thank you. That's it. Brian Hernsberger, good morning, my friend. Not Edward Furlong. What's up, buddy? Awesome. And we got our toppings over here. We got, what's this, the strawberry topping? Yeah, some strawberry preserves. Strawberry preserves. The, the normal, the syrup, the, the sugar. Hey, what's up, Ty? How's it going, my friend? Welcome in. 
We are not just doing normal waffles today. Mm, I can definitely taste the rosemary in the ham. Just a subtle. You got some rosemary in that I ham over there? I can taste it. Yeah, so mm. last night, I started this last night by taking some rosemary from the yard. Okay. And I put it in a container with the ham. Gotcha. That, it, the, the, the one at Disney, the uh, ham is rosemary ham. Oh, okay. Well, I knew I wasn't going to find rosemary ham, but we have it right in the front yard, so. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Nicole, Mama morning, Saurus. Mama Saurus, how are you? And if you hate us calling you Mama Saurus, yes, let us know. Yes, let us know in the chat. <laughs> but that's okay. Ty says, you two and your level of culinary creativity never cease to amaze me. <laughs> well, we can't really take credit for this one because we're trying to recreate what they're doing currently in the parks. Yeah. Currently in the parks. And it seems to be a hit. It yeah, seems this, to be a hit. So let's this see. one is a messy one for sure. It's messy. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. We got this. We got this. So maybe a little less on the bottom? Probably, maybe yeah. Maybe a little less on the bottom? Mm, mm, mm. I know. Coffee. Gotta mm. caffeinate it up here. The rain is pouring outside. It's coming down. Is it raining pretty hard where you guys are at? How is it in Orange County? The sea flights in here. I see someone saying hi. Sea flights, if I missed you, hello, buddy. How you doing? There we go. There, I see sea flights. What's up, my friend? Good morning. All right. I'm gonna set the camera back down. Can you take it? Sure. Okay. So we're gonna need a plate. Yeah, I got the tongs. That's fine. All right, guys. Here's the reveal. The reveal. Too messy? Does it need to cook more? I don't know. It's like stuck. I know Here goes the blooper part, right? Yeah, here's the bloopers, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I need a little bit more spray on Might the need more spray. Okay. It looks good. It looks yummy. Do you need a fork? Like a little support, maybe? It smells really good, by the way. The cheese is all melted. Want a spatula? Probably. Okay. I'll just kind of lift it and you see. Got it? Alright. Get this corner. Alright. Taste test. I'll let Living Dead Mom be the guinea pig on this one. <laughs> it smells good. Let's see if we can no, kind of... It smells good, but... <laughs> see if I can kind of get in there. So these ingredients are in there. The, um, the ham, the Swiss. I think they need to be maybe like cooked a little longer. Is there like a, a, a well done? Yeah, I can... I can... Because the other ones at at the park look more well done. I'm gonna crank this up a little more to, this goes up to, oops. Where these waffles look fabulous. I'm gonna do it to level, I have it between three and four. Hey Ty, welcome in. I mean, yeah, I can crank this bad boy up. Yeah, let's <laughs> give it a shot. Let me give it a try. Should I go all the way to six? It well, goes one to six. I, I'm what were right we middle. on? I'm we on were on three. three. I'm on three and a half. That's the middle way of... Maybe let's try four and a half, but give me a second. Let me try it and see. You want me to do four and a half? Well, let me try it and see. Okay. I'll okay. set it like around five. All right, Living Dead Mom's going in for the kill. Let's get this. Welcome in, folks. We are doing Monte Cristos. I traditionally use syrup on my Monte Cristo. Can grab a fork real quick. Mm -hmm. Jess, they look edible to me. <laughs> they are edible. I think they're edible. Ty says, y'all, looks edible. perfect. Today I made oatmeal and cereal. I'm jealous. I'm coming over to your place for breakfast. Come on we over, have guys. plenty. <laughs> 
so you can see the cheese is definitely cooked in there. Oh, perfect. It's melted. All right. Well, it might be too big of a bite, huh? Oh, just, <laughs> just go for it. Go for it. Chug, chug, chug. Right? <laughs> See the cheese is melted in there. Mmm. Man, look at the pull apart right there. Now she's doing Living Dead Dad right now. <laughs> it's good. I think it just needs to be cooked longer. Just the. Uh... It's not doughy or anything inside. It's good. I'm definitely getting the rosemary. You just want a little more crispy. I think a little more crispy. We can mm -hmm. do that. We got we got crispy, that's for sure. But it's good. How the preserves on it. Good, but let me try the... Try with some... Yeah, there mm -hmm. you go. Traditionally, I like syrup on my, mm. my Monte Cristo. Holly said, I'm jealous of oatmeal. I ate cold pizza. Hey, I'll take cold pizza. Uh, Brianna loves cold pizza in the yeah. mornings. Holly, that's like the best breakfast yeah. right there, cold pizza. Mm-hmm. Holly's like, I'll trade you then. I'll trade you my cold pizza for the Monte Cristo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is that the is that a with the, with the uh, syrup? It's mm -hmm. better. All right. I I like it with syrup. So I'm thinking less breading. Less breading. So go lighter on the um, lighter on the bottom. I need to close this and let it heat up. Uh huh. Lighter on the bottom, and then longer on the cook. Lighter on the bottom, longer on the cook. You mm. said you had it at three and a half? It was three and a half. Let's do four and a half. Don't go crazy. Don't, don't, let's not burn it. Yeah, have it at four and a half now. Okay. Well, while that's heating up, let me try. Yeah, why don't you give it a shot? Why don't you see what? Oh, it's already ready to go at four and a half. It, it's not like burn your mouth hot or anything, so okay. that's good too. All right. Here goes nothing. Not Edward Furlong says, all you're missing is the mimosas. Mm. I agree. I agree. If we didn't have a long day of cooking ahead, I would <laughs> maybe. What do you think? <laughs> I got to get all the flavors in. You got to get all the flavors in. God bless America. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really good. You like it. Okay. Maybe I'm being too critical. No, no, but I, I want to try it crispy now. Okay, okay. No, that's really good. Okay, cool. Now, we've never tried the one at Disneyland, so I don't necessarily have anything to compare it to because we just don't get there early enough. I don't think we need to try the one at Disneyland. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Trish says, don't go crazy. Exactly what I tell Renato when he cooks. <laughs> Are we sounding like you guys? <laughs> hmm. uh, Tina says, just saw what the Disney version looks like. Would you go medium pour of mix in a layer with stuffing as it cooks a little and add more mix on top like a stuffed waffle? It's basically what we did. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe a little less. So a little lighter on the bottom. A little lighter on the bottom. And more on top. No. So just lighter yeah. on the bottom? Mm-hmm. I just feel like we, we just need to have enough waffle mix on the bottom that we're not, it's not the meat to the iron. Right. No, I understand. Well, we'll play with it and see what happens. Hey, Brady. How are you? Good morning. It's really good. You like it. Okay. Either or. You like it either or. Do you feel I'll like, like... I like this. I'll like it crispy. Okay. Well, I want to try it crispy. Let's so try it crispy. Let's see if we can crisp. Trish says, example, he used to put crushed up to potato chips on top of mac and cheese. Mm. Had to be a first in history. Uh, for real. <laughs> Did you like it? Wow. Did you like it that way? Okay. Uh, Jen says, the one at Disneyland is not crazy thick with the waffle mix. No. Thank you, okay. Jen. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we need to go. We just need to look at the chat. We need to look at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> for real. For real. Okay, Jen, so I'm thinking we need to go lighter on the mix on the bottom when we first start. Okay, let's try that. And so then, I have it at, and yeah, then a and then a little crispier, just a little crispier. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be picking apart the waffle. Mm. Yeah, you can just probably just grab them and eat them, right? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's 
Try number two. Might need a little more spray. A little more spray on the top, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. There you go. A little more heavy on the spray. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay, so lighter. Lighter. Maybe just like a, not as a generous scoop. Right. Here. Okay. Like that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. This Spread. is going to crisp up go. really nice. All right, ready? Okay, here we go. We're two. getting the line going here. I think that's, no, okay. Spread that out there. Perfect. Look at this. We got it. And last. Last but not least. All right, guys, we're going to try this one out here. Yeah. Oh. And I was ready to close it. Top it off. Top her off. Just now a little. Just, just a little. little. Yep. Okay. Just a little. Just a touch. Go. A little bit. Just a touch. Okay. Okay. How's that? Let's try it. Give it a shot. Let's try it. And then it's gonna cook longer. Now I almost need the one that has I, yeah, the, uh, the, the little latch. The latch on mm -hmm. it so it can. Okay, let's see. I'll just sit on this and Jen here. says, and yes, cook longer. The ham on the edges that sticks out gets a tad crispy. Got mm. it. Got it. Crispy ham. Yeah. And it does smell divine. Mm -hmm. That's what they said on the Disney blog. They said it smelled divine. So on the Disney food blog, it said this is made with rosemary ham, turkey, and Swiss Waffle dusted in powdered sugar, served with a side of strawberry preserves and maple syrup. So we we went as close as we could. I don't know. Can you That's see you got that? The recipe from? Yeah. Well, that I mean, it's not really a recipe. It's just a description. That was the description. Yeah. That. Sorry, my family chat is going crazy. Well, in this one, yeah, I think the first batch we did because there was a lot of mix. It was overflowing. It was overflowing with mix, yeah. So less mix. So Wait. here, I, I got it pressured down and there's no mix coming out. So I think we did the right amount. Hey, the sit. Crow Draven Sanchez. Hey, Crow. How are you? Good morning. No worries. We are, um, we are making Monte Cristo waffles here. We got your Swiss. We're happy to have you. Thank you for joining us. Ham and turkey. We already made one batch. Yes. Which was I thought was amazing as well. It wasn't bad. I just I just I think it's too bready. The one in the picture looks less bready and yeah. more toasty. So we got a little heavy on our pour yeah. there on the breading. And again, we don't get to Disneyland early enough to try these ourselves. <laughs> So, but I know Jen's has had them, and so she's our current expert here in chat. And these really just were a box. This is just a box. Yeah. Uh, what do it's you call just it? The Aldi mix. Aldi brand. You know, just just Aldi. add water. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you can use whatever mix you like, and then yeah, you can take it up, step it up if you do your yeah, your oh, waffle, absolutely. your waffle uh, mm -hmm. cake mix. Cake mix. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hear it sizzling in here. I don't it's know. It's sizzling. Well, I think just let it go. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to let, let it go until it beats. She said the ham kind of gets, you know, cooked on the edges. Can you guys hear that out. sizzle? Mm, mm, mm. I'm wondering if I must have put in a double uh, My goodness. <laughs> we are sizzling here in the kitchen. Yummy. This is cooking. Yeah, this might cook a little bit longer. I did have it set uh, right in the middle between the three and the four. Yeah, Christina, we got to get there much earlier to try these ourselves. <laughs> Berry Place, good morning. Berry Place, everyone. good yeah, morning. Berry Place had this as well, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Berry Place had this already. I think so. I think okay. um, Dragon Blood bought it for him one morning. Okay. Um, so, so, Barry, we are trying to recreate the waffle Monte Cristo that is in New Orleans Square in the mornings. Um, so we did our first go, and I think it's a little too waffly. So we're giving it another shot, and um, 
we did less, less waffle mix, more time. So let's see how we do. Man, this thing's, it smells good already. Just the sizzling. We already tried one batch. We went a little heavy on the, uh, the waffle mix. So we're going lighter on the waffle mix and we kicked it up a little bit on the, uh, on the crispiness on the settings here. So let's see how we do on this one. Okay. Marjorie, did you finish your coffee already? Yes, yes. It's gone. I'm still, I'm still halfway through <laughs> my good. cup of coffee it here. It's really good. How are we doing on a waffle mix? Okay. I think we are doing Now we right. don't have it spilling out the sides like we did last time, so that's good. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see, let's see if we nailed it. Yes, living dead waffles. Living dead waffles. <laughs> Brady, what's going on, buddy? How are you? We got Barry Place in the house. Christina Holmes. Making sure I'm not missing the chat. No worries, Brian. The We're crow. Here. We got the crow in the house. Jen says, well, you need to change that, my family. I'm bringing the rope drop party bus to your house to get you to the parks for morning time. Let's go, Jen. <laughs> We are ready for rope drop. Those are long days, that's for sure. All right. I know we still have to figure out. I'm hearing that the chalk walk is at like four in the morning, so we're, I'm wondering if we should just go sleep in the car. <laughs> just take a little nap. This one's definitely going to be cooked. Brady, you turned 46 yesterday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Buddy. The crow says it's rain night. It rained hard all night, didn't it? Yes, it sure did. It's still raining pretty decently here. Uh, apparently on our side of town, it's supposed to rain pretty good until two roughly. So let's see what happens. Okay, the here we go. Truth. The moment of truth. How did we do? It's all black. <laughs> it's charred. It's charred. Oh my Oh, word. that looks much better. Look at that. Okay, how do we do that? Where's the fork? There. That? You want the fork? Yeah. Okay. Should I just like... There we go. No? Perfect. Yeah, where's the plate? Let's pop that behind me. <laughs> where's, where's one? Where's one? There we go. Oh my cotton. Oh, that smells fabulous. This is it right this here. This is it. That's yeah. the one. This is the one, Jen. <laughs> how do we do, Jen? Let's see. All right, let Living Dead Mom take a crack at it first. Man, look, that smells so, so good. So here's the first ones Ooh. we did, yeah. Yeah, look at the comparison there. So there's the first ones we did, and then, then this one. That's so it's definitely more crispy. Oh man, that's gonna be fabulous. Good vibes. She says, I'm drooling, that looks so good. That's, that's it. Okay, right why now. don't you do the taste test you for us? To, so here's know? your condiments and stuff okay. here. Anthony626, welcome in. Hey, what's nice up? to have you. Time for Christina breakfast. Holmes says, nailed it. Brianna says, upgraded. Jen says, oh, yes, the second set looks awesome. Okay, yeah. hopefully we got it this time. So we got to remember the, the waffle iron setting. Holly should be showing up soon for the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> I know, oh, us struggling with spatulas, and right. we haven't blown up the kitchen yet. A little powdered sugar. A little powdered sugar. A lot of powdered do, sugar. Do both here. Gonna, okay, you're gonna do both. I'm gonna put a little bit of preserves on one end. Have that taste. <laughs> and then do Waffles the reminds me of a superhero from a movie called Mystery Men called the Waffler. Here, we're giving you some uh, some stuff to work with here, Brian, this morning. Okay. Polly says mouth open. Let me do the this side first with. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys! So this side's just with the the strawberry preserves. Okay, doing it with the strawberry oh. preserves first. 
Christina says, you are giving me so many good ideas. Ah, I love that. That's what I love. <laughs> is it better? This is the one. This guys. is the one. Okay, this cool. One right here. We did it. Right, Success. Let me, let me finish this Draven Sanchez, we did coffee already, so you're going to have to go back and watch, my love. Going to have to go back and watch. Mm. Holy cow. Is it good? Woo! It's, it's cooked just right. It's yeah. cooked just right. I think we did it. Right, let me try this with the, I uh, think we did it. With the meat and... Holly says, so what is funny is I don't particularly care for waffles and I don't eat turkey or ham, but you put cheese in it and I'm like, I need that. Yay! <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we did coffee first. No, Sanchez. This is incredible. Is it? You like it? Oh. You look at he's going to eat it all without me. I know. <laughs> you can have this one. I can have there's, that there's one. three right here. Okay. Your turn. Pirate Girl Trish says, Congratulations. Oh, man. Yeah? Y'all don't even know. Is it fire? Fire, fire. 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 Holy cow. Holy cow. Yes, I did the powdered sugar on mine. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Mm-hmm. Much better, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's it right there. It brings out the flavors of the meat, where this one, it got hidden. Yeah, because there's too much. Mm -hmm. um, there's too much bread. So, guys, so take it from us. Don't use too much um, waffle mix yeah. when you're pouring. So, lighter on the waffle mix, heavier on the cook time, maybe even a little heavier than we did on the mm -hmm. cook time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you mean, like, light, uh, mm -hmm. turn it, crank it up a notch? Uh -huh. So yeah, we were at three and a half on that settings. I did it to uh, four and a half. Four and a half. So maybe let's try five. Do you want me to go up a well, little bit I more? Think we're good for now. We can finish it later. Okay. And we can go ahead and move it to move it to the table. And, okay. Yeah, I'm plug it for a few. Yeah. Are we, are we done cooking for, well, for, for now? now? All yeah. right. Yeah. We'll we'll cook in like five more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go over here and you guys can watch close us. Out. Stuff our face. Talk about what's coming up and talk about our. Sure, I'll do another. Por favor. Uh, probably the syrup. Syrup. See, I like Please. my syrup too. What is up, guys? All right, we are doing it up. Man, it is coming down outside. Let me turn these lights off so we don't get washed out. Hopefully, that's a little better little better hopefully all right time to stuff our face let me grab my coffee okay. mm. yeah we got we got plenty of mix to make yeah. several batches mm -mm -mm. Let's see how am I on juice all right sure. thank you your deal all right Time to put these away. I don't know. Well, thank you guys for joining us for Saturday morning breakfast this week. We chose Saturday morning because uh, tomorrow's Easter. Um, Jen says, I liked it with the with just the powdered sugar and syrup. That's what we're going with right now. Let me grab another knife. Wow. Definitely needs a knife. Yeah, to, to cut through the uh, the turkey and the ham. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys ever have company staying over and you want to wow your guest, yeah. this this is it right here. This, this is it. It's it beats the traditional just eggs and bacon and and what do you call it toast breakfast. And then you don't really need to do the the bacon and everything on the side, so mm -hmm. it even kind of simplifies it. Yeah. You're just keeping it all in one pan mm -hmm. instead of the bacon mess or whatever. Yeah. So it takes a little cool. bit of prep, but so not I, too I much. did start these technically yesterday by getting a decent ham and then um I put it in a container with some rosemary, which like I said, luckily we have growing in our yard. 
a ton of it if you all need rosemary. Yeah, we come on have over and tons of rosemary. Grab some. Um, and then I put it in the container overnight in the fridge. So the rosemary definitely um, gives that aromatic flavor to the ham. It's subtle. It's not strong. It's a subtle rosemary. Um, but it's good. I can definitely smell it. Mm. So much better, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one, this one was it. Less, less waffle mix, more time on the waffle iron, mm -hmm. and it's fire. I don't know what Disney's tastes like, but this one, this one makes the list. I'm sure Disney's is great. I think mm -hmm. it was the very place that had it. Thank the other you, day. Amit. How are you? Your friend in here. Hey, Amit. How are you, buddy? Thank you for joining us. Get some napkins. Long story short, guys, this is uh, when I started my coffee journey, uh, Amit and I both have the uh, same uh, coffee machine, and I, I found him on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel, and he uh, I learned a lot from his channel on, on just the proper maintenance and care and just other uh, techniques on, on brewing coffee and with, with that machine, and I befriended him on Instagram. And we've been friends for quite a few years now, and he's actually not in the U.S. He's over in Turkey, as we speak. What time is it over there, Amit? But um, he's got a very successful YouTube channel and an Instagram channel. He's got other major coffee companies that have reached out to him. Um, and yeah, he, he's just fabulous. Let me throw we him. We Amit's link in there. Somehow. Yeah, I do have, if anyone's in the chat can throw his link. I know, Amit, we, we just got done making coffee, and, and now we're... I don't know if you guys have this over there in Turkey, but it's a. I bet uh, they do. I bet they, they have might. fabulous. I know breakfast. they have fabulous breakfasts over there. It's on the list. It's on the bucket list. Mm -hmm. Turkey. It really is. I know. Hopefully, we get to meet Ahmet someday. But go check him out. Go give him. Go follow him on Instagram. If Beautiful he, photography. Yeah, and he's video work. He's a photographer by trade. Beautiful videographer and. Some of his um, YouTube shorts or Instagram shorts are just top notch, like professional. <laughs> if you guys like looking, at, I call it coffee eye candy. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you for being here, Ahmed. You have to rewind the stream and and watch me brew my coffee. Doesn't compare to Ahmed's though, but since then he's upgraded his machine. He's got a very fancy, very nice machine. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, his his coffee journey. It's been great to see him. Uh, his channel grow so yes I love your content Ahmed so much <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you Christina Holmes have a wonderful weekend as well happy Easter to you and your family um, hoping the Easter Bunny comes and visits you and uh, be safe be safe in the rainy weather if you guys are leaving your homes um, yeah yeah Good vibes. So I thought it was my turn, so I sent you a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, good vibes. <laughs> good morning, CL. How hey, are CL. you? Hey, CL. Just in time. Just sat down to eat. Thank you for the buy me a coffee. Good vibes. Thank you, oh, thank so, you much. so much. That was that was really really sweet of you. We are grateful. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. We thank you. We thank you. <clears throat> I know we are almost at the uh, 500 family members. We are getting close. I know. So close. And thanks to you guys for, gosh, just being here, giving us your time. I know. We look forward to getting up in the morning on the weekends mm -hmm. and, and doing this with you guys. Like I said, um, 19 people in our kitchen this morning and... I don't think there's a better way to start out the weekend. We are grateful for all of you. Um, we're gonna, we did this again today because tomorrow's Easter. And then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it again next weekend. Usually we do every other week. We're probably gonna do it again next weekend and then get back onto our every other week schedule. Um, that way, hopefully between our movie night on Thursday nights, every other Thursday night, 
and then um, the every other Sunday, I'll be cooking in the kitchen once a week. And usually Thursdays is something mm -hmm. simple. Sometimes yeah. I do something a little more. Um, but yeah, so that way I'll just be cooking in the kitchen on camera once a week. This time we did it twice. So let's try to kind of space that out a little bit. Um, but I love, love, love that you guys join us and um, trying to think of new and exciting things to make. If you guys have any ideas, oh my gosh, please, yes. please send them our way. Maybe you saw something and it's not something you would necessarily make yourself. I, I'm, please, that's that I think was the hardest part um, is coming up with ideas of what's new or you guys can watch the normal cooking things everywhere. And so we want to bring a different flavor. I kind of I kind of like the idea of trying to mimic things that um, they do in the parks. But eventually, um, though they do keep coming up with new stuff, I'd be afraid of running, running out of ideas. Um, I know we want to do the funnel cakes as well. So I think we're going to do a spin on the churro funnel cake that is yes. at Hungry Bear. Maybe we can do that for the next movie night. Um, thank you for stopping by. Yes, Ahmed. Thank you. Ahmed. Thank you. We enjoyed having you here. Um, sorry, we're trying to keep up with chat too. Uh, thank you, Mods, for thank everything you. you guys are doing right now. Um, so we have a Ghost Story Night again on Thursday. This Thursday is Ghost Story Night. So we need to um, start researching on more stories. If you guys know anyone that has some stories, we would love, love, love for you to share those with us. Um, our email, we'll drop our email. It's the living dead family at gmail.com. Um, so that will be this, this Thursday. Uh, Brianna says, hear me out. Corn dogs. We can try corn dogs, mm. sweetheart. We can mm -hmm. try corn dogs. That's not too hard. I've made a, we've made corn dogs before. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, so we're going to do <laughs> our scary, our, our, our scary ghost stories. Scary, not so scary, whatever. Um, I don't tend to cook on those nights. We decorate is what we do. Yeah. Um, and then uh, next Sunday, we'll do the lattes again, and I'll cook something Sunday. And then um, the next Thursday, we'll do movie night again, and then no lattes that Sunday. Mm -hmm. We'll do our best to stay to that schedule. Obviously, sometimes life, something in life happens. Um, but we're, we're going to try and keep to that schedule. Also... Our really good friend, Luis, I know you guys have seen her in our chats. She was with us on movie night. She's coming up with a really cool um, plan for us to do um, some more ghost hunting. Um, and maybe, maybe this isn't solid. We just started working on it yesterday. But maybe being able to invite some of our friends um, I know maybe SoCal would be interested in doing some real ghost hunting with us, maybe. Um, and maybe any of you, any of you streamers, I, that is an open uh, invitation, mm -hmm. hopefully. Um, we need to see what we can do. And then um, I don't know if we'll be able to live stream that one or not because we're currently looking at doing it. Um, in a well-known haunted house in Orange County. I don't want to give away the destination yet, um, but um, it is a well-known, uh, it is, we have been there before, there is activity. Um, people usually um, have to pay to do uh, ghost tours in there. So being able to get into this place and have it open to us as um, our own investigation versus a guided tour is pretty cool. Um, so we're working on that. Again, I don't know um, if we'll be able to do that live or not. To go live there, the cost might really go up a lot. So to keep costs down, we may have to just do it vlog style. 
yeah. but um, a chance to invite others in. And just think of it like as a, a meetup. A meetup. I know other Thank you. other um, YouTubers, if you will, or live streamers, they like to do meetups. So yep. just think of this as an opportunity to not just be just a, your uh, traditional meetup, but like a fun one. We actually get to go out and, and do some uh, investigating. No, no guarantees that we'll see yeah. or find anything, but yeah. at least we'll get to be together and meet some of you guys in, Not in person. Not for long you'd be down. So, so another, so let me piggyback off of that one. So the one in this house I'm speaking of, that one would be a more limited number. Um, we're also talking about, we can do the haunted forest together. We can do a cemetery together. So maybe for like a meetup, we can do a bigger a bigger group if we have enough interest like like you're saying not edward furlong if you'd be down with that we can do a bigger group meetup again this is an open invitation um we we love our streamer friends so this isn't um for others other than streamers we want you guys there um, places you can also go live as well. Mm -hmm. It's not just inclusive to only us or anything like that. We we truly um, enjoy our time with you and being live together and doing the things together. So um, no competitive nature. Or, we're not about that. Um, so that is like an open invitation meetup. So again, be it if you are a streamer. Maybe you just want to do your own thing. Maybe you watch YouTube and want to bring your camera or whatever. So if we, um, CL, yeah. So if we do get enough interest, we'll try and do two things. Let's do something where we can be more inclusive, um, like the haunted forest or a cemetery, or if we come up with another cool avenue to do, um, the other one, the um, haunted house, the historical house that we're hoping to be able to do in Orange County, we're going to have to be more careful with numbers. So that we may have to do like in the form of a giveaway or lottery or something um, because we can't, we can't have a household of people. Uh, it's a, it's, you know, houses built over a hundred years ago, they're, they're not as open floor plan, so. Um, but it's a really cool house, a really great opportunity. We have had activity there before, um, so we're working on that one. That one is we're just starting to talk about it, and um, so that one's not completely ready to to be promoted yet. But again, on the terms of doing a meetup and doing some ghost hunting together. Um, again, with um, our friend Louise at the helm uh, because she's got all the equipment mm -hmm. and everything else and she's just super knowledgeable um, and we're just grateful to, to be invited to go and, um, and see and do the things. Uh, she says we're investigators too, but I feel like we're just kind of happy we're, to be there. <laughs> we're we're, <laughs> we're just excited to be there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're we like to follow her morning. around with the camera. Um, we'd be in for a paid one too. Okay. Okay. Not Edward Furlong. Let me put that one. Let me put that one in there. Maybe we can work on some things again. This doesn't have to know. Maybe this will be a more than a one-time thing. Maybe we have enough interest, um, from all of you to maybe make it something normal. Maybe, um, quarterly or something we can do mm -hmm. some kind of meetup and investigation. Uh, but you guys got to let us know we are not mind readers. <laughs> we investigate, but we don't have any abilities. Um, but um, yeah, let us know. If you are on our Instagram, um, shoot us a message. Leave us a comment here on this video. Um, let us know so we can start working out the details um, and we'll figure something out on the paid ones too, you know. Sometimes we do have to pay to go into places and because oftentimes we have to have security and insurance. Um, places like that can't just open it to anybody and let anyone come in. There is a cost incurred. Um, in, in this case, it's going to be um, through a donation to this historical site. So um, it's not free to us. We would be making 
all of us, whoever goes, um, not just our people, but other people will make a donation to this historical site. But again, that one's going to be more limited on numbers and that one's brand new for us. We just started getting this um, together yesterday, but we can certainly do a more um, open invitation for a meetup if you guys really do want to go ghost hunting with us. Again, that's inclusive to anybody, so I don't want anyone to feel like um, they aren't included. If I'm talking to you about it here right now, be it you're with us now or join later, you are included. Um, and if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. I say and often. We can always just do another yeah, meetup at and some we're, point and we're, Yeah, we're often in the parks, be yeah. it Disneyland, be it Knott's. Um, we are happy to meet anyone, anytime that we can, of course, be it your birthday, whatever our hearts were. Um, I know I say that a lot, but I can't, I can't say enough. Our hearts were so full of joy, mm -hmm. um, celebrating with dragon blood last week and Victor and even just riding along on the ride for Justin's birthday yesterday. We're not always going to be able to make everyone, but, um, we sure would love to. We sure would love to. I never feel like you have to be on camera with us. Yeah. I know a lot of people yeah. are, are camera shy. And, camera shy, and that's okay. We respect that and mm -hmm. your privacy. But if you guys see us out in the parks, just follow us on the stream. Say, hey, I want to meet you, but I don't want to be on camera. That's mm -hmm. totally fine. We'll say hello off camera and yeah. um, get your sticker and yeah. get your hellos from us. And yeah. and yeah, we can go about our ways. So, <laughs> so we're excited. So those are some things we've got in the works. Um, we're getting close to 500, I believe. Um, so let's see. I think we are. So do we already figure out our 500 giveaway, right? That I know was... we've got a couple and we'll probably add some more. So I think we're about 20 roughly away to 500. We might let it get a little over 500 because we tend to lose some too. Because <laughs> again, we ain't for everybody and that's okay. That's okay. We gain some, we lose some, we gain some, we lose some because we're not just park streamers. And sometimes we pick people up in the parks and then we tell ghost stories and they're like, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. It is okay. It is beyond okay. Um, again, uh, we're not for everybody, but we are kind hearted people. We're loving people. And, um, and those that stay, they're just meant to be here. So um, on that note, and then we have what movie night coming up next week. So movie week. night this week, and we are going to do either wait movie night this week or, or no or ghost, no, ghost stories, stories this week. Sorry, ghost stories this week, movie night the movie next night Thursday. Next so we're alternating Thursdays. So we one can. night ghost stories, one night the watch party. And we said it was going to be what Clue or what was Never Ending one? Story. Never Ending Story or Clue. Those yeah. are free on on YouTube. Free Again, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We're still sticking with free YouTube movies so we can all yeah. watch them together. So this month we did um, Ghostbusters, and then a couple days ago we did Legend, and so next we've got Clue and Never Ending Story. Yeah. And then we're going to have to come up with another original <laughs> original <laughs> list to choose from. A new so, list after mm -hmm. that. So every other Thursday we're gonna, or every Thursday we're gonna try and be live, be it um, every other week is a watch party, and then every other week alternating from that is the ghost stories. But we need those ghost stories yes. to do that. Um, you also see um, the link being dropped for Mary. We are all doing the chalk walk, uh, really important to us. Um, we kind of went through that, was it last Thursday at the beginning of our ghost stories? So if you haven't seen our why, um, for why it's so important to us, go back to last Thursday's, um, ghost stories and watch the beginning. Cause we talked about, um, our chalk walk mission. So we would do it regardless of course, but we wanted to share, um, that we have linked our daughter's link in here to help her raise money for chalk walk. Um, because she's going to represent her son, who we lost at at Chalk, um, not not by Chalk's fault or anything. We love Chalk, and we want to support that that foundation the best we can. So we've got Mary's link in here, so she can walk and represent her son that day, and we'll be with her. Um, but right now, we're we're just driving to help her get her her money raised so that she can walk and um and then we may switch a little bit 
Thank you to everybody who has made donations to Mary so far. I know Holly for sure. I need to go back and look and see if there's been any others. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think if we got any other. So we got the ghost the stories. So we've got this Thursday ghost stories. Usually people ask when we're going to be at the parks again. When are we? Oh, right now we have um, Wednesday secured. And I might try to get another day in there. The kids are off next week. Uh, but we do have to work. <laughs> we do have to work. So, um, so hopefully Wednesday, and then we'll be streaming again Thursday, and then again next Sunday. Sunday. So we will be streaming three times next week. Um, obviously, our Sundays are, are Saturday here. Sundays usually are shorter streams because we can see you guys are dropping like flies. People got stuff to do. So. Uh, with that, it's a holiday weekend. It's a holiday so. <laughs> weekend. Happy Easter, everybody! Yes, happy Easter, guys! Um, however, it is that you may celebrate it. Um, it's a, a big weekend for our family, and um, yeah, thank you for yes. joining us. Thank you for helping us recreate the Disneyland Waffle Monte Cristo. I think we nailed it. Hopefully, we get in the parks early enough to try it ourselves. I hope so, and yeah. see how we did. We have, how did we do? We have the rope Maybe drop. we did better. <laughs> Who knows? Make sure you guys monster mash that like button for us. If you guys liked our, our stream today, we appreciate that. And um, yeah, share the stream if you can. Yeah. Get the watch hours up for us. We're really close to hitting our YouTube goals on here. So thank you so much. Thank you guys. For uh, giving us your time on a Saturday thank morning. Thank you, CL. Can you show the... Yeah. The rain on the way out. Yeah, maybe go out in the front. The, yeah, we will show you guys. Our front yard is more prettier than our backyard right now. It's a rainy mess. Our backyard is a mess. I know, we're kind of cleaning.